sign that rain is on the way. We've just turned off into Flanibister. Flanibister meaning flat farm. And it's just to give you a little uh, idea of some of the side roads. These are all single track roads. So we have to be quite polite here in Shetland. If we see another vehicle coming, we have to draw off into a passing place. It's usually not a problem if they see a big bus coming there. They're quite happy to <laughs> get off the road as soon as possible. So this gives you a lovely uh, vista here, view of the, just the coastline of Shetland. And it really shows how rocky we are. We don't have any mountains, but we have lots of hills. <coughs> this is a very fertile area here. This is a limestone in this area. Shetland is made of many different types of stones. And as you can see, it's very, uh, very green, very lush, very fertile, and this is because of the limestone. A lot of these old buildings are uh, very ancient houses that they used to be lived in and uh, no one is allowed to take the stones away from these houses. You can also see that if you look quite closely at some of the old wow. roads, all the lichen that's grown, mm. which uh, is uh, a sign uh, of the very clear air. You can see on the gables of both these old houses here, the lichen growing, there's a little sparrow sitting on the yeah. top. And so in this area there was a uh, lime kilns built. If you look over to your left, you can see the remains of two little ruins up on a hill, just down here about, uh, about nine o'clock. And that was actually uh, where they quarried the, the limestone. It was a very laborious task. They quarried all the limestone and then they had to layer it with uh, peats pieces of fossil fuel here on the islands, and they would set fire to it in the kilns. The kilns would have been about probably three times the size they are now. And uh, eventually, after quite a few days, uh, about five days of burning the, the, the lime, it would then be um, refined and uh, put into barrels. And for all that effort, I think they got something about eight pence a barrel. And the lime, of course, had two uses. Uh, one was for uh, sweetening up the soil, oh, and the other uh, use was for a uh, mortar. And I believe that uh, the lighthouse in uh, Bresse and Fort Charlotte used some of the, the lime from this area. The eventually became uneconomical and uh, so they stopped uh, in the 1840s. A lot of the primroses start to grow here. They just grow wild. It's quite a beautiful light today with the sun shining on the, on the sea. Most of the villages in uh, Shetland doesn't have a centre like a village green. It tends to be the, the local community halls that's the centre, and the villages are just built on a ribbon development um, along the road sites. These are very uh, four and five star uh, chalets that people come for their holidays to, They're rented out during the, the summer months and I believe they're very popular. A little building there up to the, the right. The right building is a local uh, farm shop and cafe. Again, selling lots of uh, local produce. And I see there's a development happening here. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, whether somebody's going to build a, a house. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you just have to um, approach a landowner and see if you can get a house site and if they are amenable to selling, which most of them are, uh, you could then uh, get, you have to get planning permission and then you can build your house. So we just did a little detour there, so we're back onto the, the main road that goes right down.